Do you know what having tea with white sugar does to blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Welcome to the first episode of the sweetener series where I am having one cup of tea made with toned milk sweetened with one teaspoon of white sugar. This should be about 85 calories in total. Let's see what happens. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 24 mg increase? As high as when I had gajar ka halwa? How is that possible? If you remember when I had one katori gajar ka halwa in the winter dessert series, my blood sugar levels had increased by 24 mg. Same as this. I thought that it will be much lower than this because when I had one cup of tea with one teaspoon of sugar in the chai biscuit series, my blood sugar levels had increased by 16 mg. Yes, now I remember, at that time I had made tea with very little milk, so the spike was lesser. Whereas this time I have made thick tea, the way I like it, it's almost one third milk. So clearly the amount of milk used in tea also matters from a blood sugar perspective. Okay, let's come back to gajar ka halwa, which clearly had more than one teaspoon of sugar and let's see what happened. Even though the blood sugar spike was the same at 24 mg, if you compare the two graphs, you'll notice that the glycemic load represented by the red dots are much higher in the case of gajar ka halwa compared to tea. Which makes sense because gajar ka halwa has much more sugar in it. While my blood sugar levels came back to normal in an hour's time, which is great, I sometimes land up having tea throughout the day. Which means that my blood sugar levels are constantly going up and down, which is not a good thing. I need to keep this in mind. 